Hi. Hi. You could have told me. I wanted to tell you. You said no more lies, only the truth. I can handle the truth, Stefan. As crazy as it is, I can handle the fact that you are a vampire. What am I to you? Who am I to you? You are not Catherine. You are the opposite of everything that she was. And when did you figure that out? Before you kissed me? Before we slept together? Before I met you. What? First day of school. When we met. It wasn't for the first time, Elena. Then when was it? May 23rd, 2009. But that was... That was the day your parents' car went off the bridge. Until I helped you. Oh, my God. When I woke up in the hospital, nobody could figure out how I got out of the car. He said it was a miracle. When I pulled you out, I, I looked at your face, and you looked like Catherine. I couldn't believe the resemblance. After that, I spent months making sure that you weren't her. I watched you. I, I learned everything that I could about you. And I saw that you were nothing like Catherine. And I wanted to leave town. But, Elena, I couldn't, I couldn't leave without knowing you. I'm so sorry that I didn't tell you. I wanted to. But you were so sad. I know you've been through so much. Why do I look like her, Stefan? What are you not telling me? You were adopted. How do you know this? Your your birth certificate from City Records. It says Elena Gilbert, Mystic Falls General. What else do you know? Listen to me. It doesn't matter. You are the woman that I love. I love you. Who's that man in the road? I don't know. Do you remember anything else about him? Betty, all I can remember is that there was these black boots coming towards me. I brought some vervain for, um, for you. Anna. Why me? What does he want with me? And, and if he's trying to kill me, then why call first? It's because we're predators, Elena. We hunt, we stalk. It's often as exciting as a kill. I want you to take this. I want you to keep this, that way you'll know if you're ever in danger. You okay? You okay? He poses a pizza delivery. I'll do it. I'll be with the two of you. I'll be safe. What'd you say to him? I would love to. May I have this dance? Well, Helen, I'm sure you looked great back then. Show me how it's done in the 50s. Uh, no. Come on, one move. Now you remember that because it's never gonna happen again. <laughs> uh, no. Stefan, the back corner. Now you feel Elena. He's been invited in. Doing okay?
Is it weird if I say yes? Is it true? I should feel more upset or scared or something, but I feel kind of exhilarated. It's the adrenaline. We'll crash soon enough. Yeah, I guess. I fought back tonight. I felt good. I wish you didn't have to fight at all. Still. <clears throat> well, then why would you be worried about telling me? Then don't. And I'll help you, whatever it takes. Okay? To this. Rise and shine, sleepyheads. Uh, what are you doing? Please. Oh, seriously, get out of here. Now listen. Since when am I helping? Well, Stefan's helping, and you've taken up. Do anything you don't want to do. I'll look for it today. Every spell that a witch casts is unique unto itself, so every witch would document there wasn't working alone. So whoever's out there knows who we are. <laughs> Is that your father? Yeah. Elena, I can do this on my own. And I said I would do whatever I can to help. I know, and I appreciate that, but... This town is my home, Stefan. You're here. I'm sorry that you have to do this. Not many girls can say they've done this. I'm not gonna give this to you until she is standing next to me. You just did the one thing that ensures that I will. Okay. Aspirin must be downstairs. Is my head supposed to hurt like this? No, you'll be fine. It was just a small amount of blood. It should pass out of your system by tomorrow. Mm. Are you okay? I destroyed that. This is my fault. We didn't do anything wrong. Don't forget that. I'm gonna get you that aspirin. Mm. Get outside. So what do we do now? Well, for now, you need to stay here. I think I know what I have to do. I don't think it's Latin. What's happening? I'm gonna go get the gasoline. I'll be right back. Where's Elena? Go! Go, go, I'm right behind you. Elena, Stefan, he's right behind me. Stefan, what are you doing? It's gonna be okay. I can't. Can't, can't, can't what? You went in there not knowing if you can come back out? Oh my God. He's okay. Can I call you later? Yeah, of course. Your mother? It can't be true, right? I mean, the coincidence alone is just crazy. You knew that already? The night at the school when he attacked me, he, it's not possible. The coincidence is, it's too much. Listen, if you do decide to go, talk to Isabel's friend. I'll go with you. 
Yeah? I just don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I should get going. I gotta go deal with Damon. Stefan, there you are. Oh, I ain't bigger. Won't hold my breath. So I went to see Trudy Peterson. I know, I'm sorry. I didn't plan it. How was it? She has Ravain. She knows about vampire stuff, and it can't be a coincidence. It isn't. This is... Oh, my God. Listen, Elena, there's a lot about Isabel that Alar can tell you, but I need you to hold off a little while before you talk to him. Why? I know that it's a lot to ask of you, but will you do that for me? I'm tough to fit on cards. Do you have any hobbies? You like to travel? I had a drink with her once. She was... Elena. Seven. Oh, I'm sorry. I wanted to tell you, but I just... I wanted to know more. That man. That's out of Trudy. No. What? Who are you? Stop looking for what? She doesn't. Isabel? You need... Lie? Does that mean she's a... Yes, I do. Come on, let's get out of here. Have you thought any more about what you're going to do? About what? No. I haven't thought about it at all. I'm sorry, I haven't thought it all. It'd just be nice if we could get through one day without having to deal with any of it. No. No vampires at all? No vampires, but you. Yeah. I just want to get us back to normal stuff, like school and homework. And here's the thought. Fun. <gasps> oh, that sounds good to me. When do we start? <laughs> you know what? I... I think that sounds like a great idea. You do? Yeah. Yeah, a nice evening out with friends. Sounds fun. Fun. Hmm? A double day it is. OK. OK. <laughs> you got me flowers. Well, I figured it's a date. Why not do it right? I would have driven, too, but you're the one with the car. You know, you'd think that for someone who was around when the car was invented that you'd have one. Oh, I have one. I just never drive it. You know, it's not too late to cancel. Why would we do that? I don't know. It just seems surreal. Like, maybe we weren't meant to get to the normal part. That's exactly why we're going to do it. We're going to go out. Have some fun and try to remember that we don't have to be so serious. Listen, when I decided to stay here and to get to know you, it was so that I could do things like this. I could bring my girlfriend flowers, take her out on a date, try to be normal. Have you ever even been on a double date before? Oh, absolutely. Uh, 72, half in the twins. What? Yeah. Playmates, I got Miss June. Are you serious? Oh. <laughs> Together. You're kidding. No, we've, uh... Well, at least they're having fun. They're drunk. We don't about them at all. All right, let's call it a night, you yeah? know? Send Matt and Caroline home. No, the whole point of tonight was to not have to deal with this stuff. We need to get through one night. <laughs> one normal night. You sure? No, I'm not sure. I don't know what else to do. He'll still be here tomorrow. We'll deal with it tomorrow. It's girlfriends. Mm. 
sorry I'm bailing. I just wish you'd let me drive you home. Normal people don't have chaperones or bodyguards or babysitters. I'm normal tonight, remember? I know, I just get so worried about you. Stefan, I can't live every minute afraid that someone's gonna come after me. I won't. It's not living. Okay. Call me when you get home safe? Mm-hmm. I'm home, teeth brushed, ready for bed, safe and sound. Oh, good, good. I'm glad. Is everything all right? You sound serious. No, 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 no. Uh, not tonight. You still have a few more minutes left of normal. I'll tell you about it tomorrow, okay? I had a really nice time on our date tonight. <laughs> Such a liar. No, I'm serious. In a way, it was exactly what it was supposed to be. I had a really nice time, too. <laughs>